everyone. Many people have an iPad right now. So for your daily life, entertaining, this is so important. But however, do you know what's the problem with iPad? So basically, if you look at the iPad evolution from the original iPad in 2010 to 2002, 2003, iPad Air, iPad Pro, iPad Pro 3 in the last year, uh, iPad 6, iPad 7 this year. There's an evolution change. So the process is much faster and the internal storage is bigger and bigger. And screen resolution getting better as well. After. However, all the different generation of the iPads have similar problems. First problem is iPad cannot use a mouse, which is not convenient when you want to do selection or editing. And another one, the iPad cannot access to external storages. For example, if you buy a storage 32 gigabyte, that's the only maximum you can go. You cannot extend your iPad storage. Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth wireless uh, optimal mouse uh, with your iPad. Today I'm going to use my iPad Pro um, as a demonstration. First you need to go to setting, then you need to switch on your Bluetooth. So after that you need to screw down to look at the accessibilities. So in, in this area, you need to find out the touch function. Then you need to switch on the assistant touch. So this one you need to switch on. Then you go to the bottom to find the device. So Bluetooth device, search for that. At this time, you need to switch uh, push the pairing button onto your mouse. Okay. So this I use the TechNet um, wireless mouse. So basically first you need to put your battery in here. Then you just need to push the button for the pairing here. After you push the pairing, you can see the red light flashing, which means this device is ready to be searched and on your devices in your mouse. iPad. So you can see right now I found my mouse is BW30X mouse. Click it. So it will connect. Once connect is successful, you can see the middle of your screen have a, a round circle, the cursors. So after that, you can see you can move around. You can choose different options here. So right now you got your mouse for your iPad. This is a very, very handy, very useful tools for people use your iPad for typing, for editing uh, documents, uh, much better for selection text and the click, uh, move forward, move back. And again, you can set up the mouse um, function as well. Thanks for watching.